Are you going to do it then? No, why? No, you're facing it this way. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Hello Wally, how's it going? Happy New Year! Um, nice little video looking back there. Uh, gave me an idea to look forward this year of what's to look forward to. So let's see what's coming up. So as I said in my last video, Lithuania are actually joining the Eurozone this year, so well done to them. Um, there's two good points about this. It's the unity and also it's also more, um, more people in with the Euro, so less random little currencies, which I, I don't like. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it makes things easier if everyone has a euro, although it isn't very stable, I don't think. I don't know. I don't Something know. I'm really looking forward to this year, and I will probably be getting one as soon as they come out, is the Oculus Rift. Um, they are also releasing, I think, the Morpheus this year for the PS3, uh, for the PS4, and they're also releasing the Xbox One, one I don't know what it's called, um, so sorry about that. But they are releasing all these things, and they are virtual reality headsets, so they're going to be really cool. And that's all coming out this year. Solar Energy, um, they are putting solar panels on a like a plane, basically, and it's going to fly all the way around the Earth, um, which will be quite good. It will raise the profile of solar energy, proving that you know it can actually fly a plane with solar panels, so that's pretty cool. It, all it's going to use is solar panels and it's going to go all the way around the world. So that's pretty cool stuff. It's going to take place over a period of five months, beginning of March to the end of July, so good luck to them. The Universal Exposition is being held this year. It's the first time it's been held in Milan, in Italy actually, so not too far from you, since 1906. So you should swing by. <laughs> it's um, going to basically be focusing on poverty and food, so hopefully something good comes from that and they're going to look at new technologies on how they can make those sort of things better and more readily available. They're turning back on the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, so watch out because black holes are coming. <laughs> the good news is obviously that's all a little rubbish, um, and hopefully they'll find out some more cool stuff about the universe and everything that we live in. Whack. <laughs> uh, the first phase of Mazda City will be completed this year. It's a $22 billion eco project. It's a city in Abu Dhabi, and it's going to be zero waste and zero carbon. So it's it's pretty cool stuff to prove that you can run a city that's sustainable and free from damaging the earth. The first self-regulating artificial heart will also be available on the market, although it is going to be pretty pricey at between 140,000 and 180,000 euros. So you'll have to save the pennies if uh, heart disease runs in your family. Another thing on the environment front, uh, the first large scale, God, sorry, my back really hurts today. The first large scale solar updraft towers are operational this year. Um, they're pretty cool. They concentrate heat underneath um, a layer of glass, which then turns turbines and rises up through the tower. Um, and I think they also usually put solar panels around it as well. Um, so that's going to be really good. Each tower generates about 200 megawatts. Or clean renewable energy. I'm obviously reading that. <laughs> and enough to serve 150,000 homes. So that's really cool. Um, again, a way of stopping us destroying everything that we love and live in. Bit of Britishness. Queen Elizabeth II is going to be the longest reigning monarch this year. 10th of September this year, uh, she would have reigned for 63 years and 217 days. And that's pretty much everything worth knowing, Ollie. And obviously, hopefully, we'll get some more decent stories throughout the year to. Um, tell you as we progress with Glass Half Full News. I'm looking forward to this year with you, Ollie, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. And I get my dog on Sunday, so I can't wait. Woo! See you later, bye!